So when I was uh, away last month, a month and a half ago, I guess, um, I spent a fair amount of time in Southern California, went to the um, Costco there, and they had these really great clear bins that I've used to refurbish my pantry area. And I'm actually doing a separate video on that. But they started sort of a revolution in looking at my pantry and looking at my food storage and looking what was going on in the refrigerator. Don't you love how one household chore leads to like 40 others? But this was a good one because no matter how much I rearranged my pantry, I still miss stuff. And this particular um, setup allowed me to see stuff better. So I started seeing where I had too much of certain things and maybe not enough of other things. And it sort of spiraled into um, my refrigerator as well. I have a lot of produce in there. I love produce. And um, when I came back from Southern California, though I had brought some stuff with me, I had ended up being there a little longer than I anticipated due to the weather. So I had to throw a lot of stuff out. So I had gone to the grocery store once I'd gone to Trader Joe's the day that I got back. And then I went to grocery outlet a few days later and uh, again with this pantry overhaul and everything, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna stop going to the grocery store and as long as I can, I'm gonna eat out of my pantry and out of my refrigerator. Well, it was a very interesting experiment and I think it went pretty well. So here are some of the things I did. Um, I did have vegetables, fruit and vegetables that were going to go bad, so I had to use those. I made those zucchini boats that I did a, a video on, which were delicious. I had a couple of zucchini left after that. So one of them I shredded and mixed up with um, some yellow zucchini from the garden that I still had in my freezer. Made some zucchini bread and muffins. I had leftover bananas that were going. So I took those bananas and uh, made some banana bread, which turned out awesome. I'm gonna link the um, I'm gonna link the video at the end because it really is a good recipe. Um, the other zucchini, I cut up and breaded it and it you know, lasted me a couple days. Every day I'd do enough that would fit in the frying pan and eat that. Did the same thing with an eggplant I had. I cut it up, breaded it, and then it took me three days to get through it. So I felt like I was moving my produce along pretty well. I used the rest of my uh, greens to make salads, of course. I had a cabbage in there and I cut up the cabbage and made stir fry that lasted me a couple days with rice and the rest I made mushu vegetables, which was delicious. I had some frozen mushrooms in my freezer and some fresh tomatoes, so some onions. So I had also had some leftover pasta. So I was able to take the pasta and add the uh, sauteed mushrooms on top and I made two meals out of that. I had a pizza crust from Walmart. I used the rest of the pasta sauce plus some leftover um, pizza sauce from the time before in the freezer. Made another pizza with the uh, mushrooms and the garlic and the onions and the uh, tomatoes that I had in the refrigerator. So I had pizza. I had frozen broccoli and more, fro more frozen mushrooms. I'd gotten all these mushrooms at, on sale at Safeway some months ago. So sauteed those up and made some um, stir fry. I made this delicious stir fry that I put over rice. And then a day or two later, I took the same stir fry vegetables and mixed them up with ramen and made a broth and had ramen soup with the vegetables in them. So that was, I think a good, maybe four meals. I had some uh, pinto beans in the pantries and I had some open can of salsa and some stuff. So I took those out, I cooked them in the crock pot, rinsed off the sauce, it was just a canning sauce, and then cooked them with the bay leaf and some bouillon and some onion and stuff like that. So I had that with rice, with the toppings for a couple of days, and that was also delicious. I made a macaroni salad with some of my uh, peppers and onions and stuff that was in the refrigerator. I had had to throw out some of the apples. I picked some apples a few months before and just too much time had gone by, but I did have apples that were still good. So I cut those all up and uh, put them in the dehydrator. So now I have a bunch of dehydrated apples. I found four bagel thins in the uh, freezer. So I took them out. I ate a couple of them with um, butter and jam because I noticed I had a lot of jam in my pantry and I didn't need as much jam as I had in the pantry. And the other two I used to make sandwiches using up the last of my um, lettuce and tomatoes. The whole thing was kind of interesting. I think I did actually very well. <laughs> I had a lot of well-balanced meals. I 
did not waste anything in the fridge. I did, you know, I did everything I could to avoid food waste. Everything I had in there, I found a use for. I was very happy at the amount of baking and the amount of uh, dough preparation I made. I still have oatmeal um, cookie dough in the refrigerator and finished up a bunch of oatmeal and I'm definitely going to be doing more of that. I was grateful I had all those sauces and I had all those oils because I was able to prepare a lot of stuff. Um, I'm also grateful that I know how to cook and that I can look at a bunch of ingredients and figure out what I'm going to do with them. I think that's key. Otherwise, you are completely lost in the kitchen. So even though I'd stopped purchasing food, I was still able to have a lot of variety and good variety. So I basically like what's in my pantry and I like what's in my freezer and refrigerator. It was all good stuff and I was able to use it to my best advantage. Now, one of the things um, that I do as a person and as a eating person is I eat a lot of raw fruits and vegetables. So I noticed that the sort of waning availability of um, fresh vegetables in my diet was did not feel good to my body. Um, when you're used to eating that much raw food, uh, it is difficult to get away. And I was eating more processed food than I usually eat. I had three pizzas, two I made at home, and one that was from the freezer over like a four week period. I usually have pizza every, maybe once every two months. And I was using more sauces, I was using more packaged food than I usually use. Um, and it was a lot of salt and it just was not a good feeling. So that's a whole other area. And when you look at your preps and you look at your pantry, ask yourself, can I really live off of this? <laughs> <laughs> What's it gonna do to me? So I'm interested in your thoughts. What do you think about this? Um, have you tried to live off your preps? Are there certain things you have to have all the time? And what would you do without them? I really didn't think about it that much until I, I did this long range um, test. So thank you so much for watching and looking forward to hearing your observations also.